brightlingsource.com here and today we're doing a quick uh, I mean not so quick uh, unboxing vi video review of the Aviate Time Instruments uh, Hawker Hunter it's a new watch from uh, Aviate um, it's a fairly value priced watch I think they're 190 great British pounds I'm, I'm not sure they're 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 listed uh, the target of the British market I believe um, but uh, they're, um, I think they're based out of Hong Kong. So there's the, there's the box here. It's kind of a neat box. It's a little different. It's a canvas. So I'm thinking with a little snap here. So I've opened this once already just to make sure the watch is the right watch. Um, I haven't worn it or anything yet. So just want to make sure everything was right. And uh, but this is the first time actually opening it. So. Off. Is there something? I think there's. Yeah. Something on the crystal there. Won't worry about the back too much. This is called the Hawker Hunter, and it's based on the airplane, the aircraft of the same name, I believe the uh, the the Royal um, the Royal Air Force or, or the Royal. Um, the, the British Air Force uh, used these airplanes in the 50s and the 60s um, and, and the, the watch is essentially, essentially inspired by the aircraft I, I believe the instruments and, and things uh, so what inspires the design of the dial it's a chronograph so as you can see the second hand is down there at the bottom Just seeing the, the crown is not a screw down crown just pops right out. Set it as normal. See there. Let's, let's go there. And if you want to set the, 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 the date, so you can see the date moving there. You can see the date wheel is exposed here and here as well. Sort of a semi skeletonized dial. I'm going to push it back in. The chronograph. Is the chronograph running already? Well, there it is. So, there's a chronograph start, stop, start, stop, start, split second, just reset. It doesn't do split second. Okay, it's a reset. Hmm, pretty nice looking dial. It's actually blue. I don't know if you can see it. It's a black and blue dial. That that chapter ring there is blue, as well as uh, that middle element there, blue with the the outside of the case black, and that that sort of turbine thing there is black. I'm not sure if it's showing up. I think it is showing up. It looks like it. Um, this one's a 45 millimeter. Uh, let's put this let's put this on. And see how this see how this goes. Or is, it doesn't feel like a 45 it feels more like a 43 or something like that it doesn't feel too it's, it feels significantly smaller than like a brightling that's 45 millimeter it's actually quite light quite thin as well I like the strap on this one it's a nice some nice military strap goes goes well with the the color of the dial and all that so it's kind of a cool strap I dig it um, this one uses a Japanese quartz movement um, and the uh, the crystals are mineral, um, or the crystal is mineral. There's only one um, mineral crystal. Uh, the case is made of 316L steel, um, so it should be fairly fairly well made case. It, the the finish on the case actually looks really good, uh, DLC coated. Um, nice case work. The edges are, are crisp. Um, not uh, it's not a not a not a lousy case. It's been the case has been well made on this one I think they did a good job with that pushers generally a, a good design I would say it's it doesn't look cheap like a lot of watches that that uh, often have this level of detail on them if they're if they're not uh, more expensive watches can come off looking cheap the AV8 uh, Hawker Hunter here doesn't doesn't come off looking cheap which is something I can appreciate 
the 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 dial looks well made. The case looks well made. Those are two big things. Those are actually two of the two of the things that can often make a watch look cheap is the case and the dial. And uh, they they definitely do a good job with the case and the dial here at one hundred eighty pounds. I'm not sure what that is in U.S. dollars, but it's probably about low two hundreds. Um, price is okay. It's not as good as the Spinnaker stuff that. Uh, I looked at it. I thought the Spinnaker Bradner was a better bang for buck, but this watch is all right. It's got a different, different, uh, different appeal to it. You know, people like a slightly more uh, complicated dial, a little more detail. You know, there's, there's definitely some features about this watch that, that are, that stand out. So, very cool watch. Um, I thought there was a lot of care put into the, the dial and the, and the case work, which, which I can appreciate. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy the review. Aviate Hawker Hunter.